Whoa, take a minute, take a minute. Oh, you're fighting again. Hey, get over here. Because he looked like a cartoon. He just couldn't get any speed. Here's a little baby ambient. Incredible. Much larger than... Wow, this is grown man playing in the mud. This is nerve-wracking. Where are the turtles? Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenan here and uh, my goodness, look at this beautiful light red foot tortoise we have here. I just pulled it out of the incubator. So beautiful, so gorgeous. I mean, these guys, I, I really do hatch out a lot of light colored babies. So I'm really excited about this. We're going to get him into the nursery here. Today, we got a few things to do, okay? I want you guys to join me with him. Of course, here are my new vision cages from customcages.com. We've got LJ in here and then the Guru Monitor. I've drained the water out because I want to kind of see what these lizards are up to. They've been hiding a lot lately and that's because, you know, it's only been a few days since they've been put into these enclosures. It takes a while for the animals to acclimate, to get calm. Once they're small, when they're small, they believe everything's going to eat them. So what I want to do is kind of get a visual look at them, uh, show you what I've done to the cages. We're going to fill it back up with water. And I've also made some very lightly scrambled eggs to try and entice these guys out. Let's go with LJ first. Uh, LJ, of course, the little dude who bit the heck out of me when we got him. It keeps on getting new spots. What I think I'm gonna try and do, friends, is I'm most likely gonna add some plants to this. Um, and we've also got a spray mister that I'm gonna spray this down, create even more humidity. We've put some uh, sphagnum moss in there as well, and that's definitely gonna help out. But let's see, of course, look at this, this telltale time that there is a lizard. Listen, oh, he's under there. LJ's under there, let's see. There he is. There's LJ. Looking good. Looking good, LJ. Come on out over here. There you go. Good. Welcome out. I wanted to see LJ. He's going to go crazy. He's still a little baby, and little babies are a little wacky. So we don't want him to jump out. We just want him to kind of do his thing. He looks fine. I'm happy with that. But again, we're going to probably add a few more things to the... Uh, to this situation to help him feel a little bit more secure because right now all he likes to do is hide. Whoa, can't go that way, can't go this way. Oh, he's gonna bite me again. <laughs> can't go that way, dude. He almost nailed me again and I just don't feel like getting nailed. But there he is right there, beautiful lizard. So he's doing well, he's still got good weight. Uh, we did offer some fluker roaches, uh, which I have right here. Oh, don't come out, let's shut this. We'll go ahead and shut this right there. There he is, but we got our Dubia Roaches from Fluker. And uh, yeah, he's looking really healthy, really good. So I'm happy about that. Uh, so good, awesome stuff. We're gonna go ahead and fill up this uh, water thing. Oh, there he goes. He's disappearing back under his little hide area. Whatever, he's happy, so I'm not gonna bug him. So these water bowls from, flu uh, from excuse me, these are from customcages.com. These right here take two gallons. So we're just gonna go ahead and put two gallons of water in there, fresh water. I shop vac it out. Very simple. Shop vac it out, dump the shop vac, and then you get some water in here. So, in fact, you know, we're gonna put a gallon in this one. And since uh, you guys don't want me to fill up, or you don't wanna watch me fill up another couple of jugs, we'll go ahead and move down to our guru monitor. Oh, we also need to put his branch back in. Let's do that. Let's do this. And I'm gonna get some, um, probably some pothos plant because it grows very easily. And I'm gonna plant, I'm gonna just put it in here and it'll grow and uh, I think that would look nice. And it would make him feel more at home and more comfortable because again, babies, Everything eats babies, so they're super stressed out, super scared. It takes a while for them to really settle in. They are smart animals monitors, as you heard me say over and over again. So it is going to tame down, but first we need to go through this little adolescent period that they're having. So we've got a sphagnum moss here. Excuse me, no sphagnum moss, it's over there. And uh, we're gonna lift this bowl up. Let's see, let's just dig down, be gentle. Oh, wow, he's not in there. Okay, so he's not in there, so let's go over here and see if he's chosen to hang in this area. Oh, I don't see him in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Wait a second. Where is this rascal? He might be actually 
hiding in this area. Holy smokes, people. We've got a mystery. We've got a mystery. Where is this lizard? Oh, brother. I mean, all the doors were shut. There's no way out of here. A little stressful. But I did see, oh wait, the other thing. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, thank goodness. I got a little nervous. He was just in between there. And there is a beautiful guru monitor. Let's go ahead and put this back. Wow, what a beauty, huh? All right, so he's just digging. He's just hanging out in that area. Where is he? Oh, he's dug under. He is gorgeous. Look at this, look at this guy. Look at that little guy. He's beautiful. I still don't have a name for him though. So, okay, buddy, there you go. He's a little bit calmer than the black dragon. There you go. Oh, we don't want to, oh, hey, get over here. Get the heck over here. Get over here. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Oh my God. I'm so glad that this little dude was on the tile because he looked like a cartoon. He just couldn't get any speed. And look, he's not biting. He got a little nervous. He tried to bite me a little bit, but uh, my goodness, very cool. All right, you gonna let go? I'm gonna let go of you. There you go, good boy. Good boy, he's much more calm than our good friend LJ. So that was pretty cool, love it. All right, let's get some water in here for him. And then I'm gonna, of course, put some egg in there for both of them. But he's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with him. And I'm digging the uh, custom cages here, the vision cages, these are really cool. But it turns out that that's his preferred area to hide is in between this little crack, which is fine. Uh, I give them options. They can hide pretty much anywhere they want. So in the enclosure, there's a little guy getting a little hydration. All right, let's put this back up. We've got water, we've got a little log, we've got a lizard. All right, good stuff. I don't know where he went, but everyone is accounted for here. Uh, let's go ahead and put the egg in. We'll get a little egg right over here. Try and entice him to come out. His uh, tongue will lead him to food. So again, this is just something I had to do. I want to check on these animals. You guys are along for the ride in that regard. So we got that in there. Okay, very good. Let's get a hat on and we're gonna go to phase two of what we have to do in today's video. Oh, you know what? I wanna do this also. I wanna show you how we keep the humidity up, which is also an important factor in keeping the water monitors. You wanna make sure they've got some humidity. So we've got a spray bottle. Give her a, give her a good pump here on the spray bottle. Okay. Let's do it out, brand new spray bottles. Oh yeah, oh that's delightful. Just moisten the enclosure. Nice little rain situation here. Spray the walls, spray the sphagnum, give it a good wetting, and that's nice, see? Under the heat lamp, cause that'll evaporate it, create some ambient humidity. So you do this once a day or once every couple of days. You can even purchase something called a hygrometer. Uh, and that'll let you know what the humidity is in the enclosure. So we're just doing that down here as well. Just spraying everything. Get it nice and sprayed. Just a nice misting and this is gonna get that ambient humidity up. These vision cages are great also because they'll hold humidity, but they do have ventilation because you don't wanna create a situation where there's no airflow because that will cause bacteria growth. It will also cause respiratory problems for your animals. So you wanna make sure there's good airflow, but that you add some water to the enclosure so that the animals are happy and healthy. Let's grab this little dude. And on our way out to our next adventure, we are going to actually drop him off in his little nursery with his little buddies. Um, the next thing we have to do today is, do you remember that I have those Seaman Rock um, snake neck turtles? Well, we set them up in a tub. I put some plants in that tub to control the algae. It seems to be working nicely. I just want to check on them as well. I have not seen them in a while. This may sound counterintuitive, friends, but sometimes benign neglect is a good thing. Look at all these little guys. We've got cherry heads right there. There's some cherry heads. We got some red foots. 
right there. Beautiful red foots. And there's our new little guy and flowers in there for them to eat. So pretty exciting stuff. We also have some sulcatas. If you guys are interested in getting one, email me at kennanh1 at comcast.net for some healthy tortoises. Okay, anyway, oh, by the way, check this out. I have been busting my butt on the warehouse. We tore out the room. As you know, I hated that room. We tore it out, my father-in-law and I, and I power washed this side yesterday, okay? So you can see the difference between the non-power wash side and the power wash side. I did this whole thing. So I had to move the contents from this side to that side now so I can power wash here. We gotta move this wood. We're gonna spray for bugs. Lots and lots of work. We've got our custom cages, big tubs. We're gonna put those to use as well. More garbage. I've done so many trips to the dumps uh, to get rid of all this unnecessary nonsense. Um, okay, here we go. We're going over to this area. And this is our snake neck tub. Okay, very simple. And um, let's see what the snake necks look like. There were seven of them in here and uh, we're gonna try and find every one of them. So here we go. Hopefully this won't take too long, but I think I'm actually even going to drain this down a little bit. We can drain that down as I work. Now, there, I put plants in here, okay? We got a little bin to get the little critters, but I put plants in here. Oh, it's chilly today. Um, and that seems to be helping with our algae problem. Algae's a fact of life. Nothing you can do about it. But the thing you can do about it is actually outcompete the algae by adding more plants that are gonna use up more of the resources in the pond. Okay, we're gonna start by pulling out some of these logs. Simplest way to find turtles. Start pulling logs out. And I'm walking very gently with my feetsies. We're looking for snake neck turtles. We're gonna pull this log out. Just toss it. Busy day for me. Pine needles. I'll pull out some of the muck. Now this muck is really good stuff because little invertebrates will live in this muck and these little turtles will eat the invertebrates. Oh, look at this, one of our fake logs. So any kind of dragonfly nymphs, uh, things like that, larva, they're gonna be in here and our buddies are going to eat them. So it's a really a cool little micro habitat. Uh, we've got our food right there. We're going to toss that down there. We got to find a turtle, don't we? I mean, this is, this is nerve wracking. Where are the turtles? Oh, well, here's, <laughs> here's a little baby ambienensis that I was looking for as well. Uh, so that's cool. Little baby Amboin getting big. I love it. Let's go ahead and put him gently over here while we do our turtle inventory. Okay, so that's a happy, healthy little dude. Get down there, buddy. Actually, I could probably just bring this and float it on the top. That's kind of a one way to do it, isn't it? All right, snake necks, snake necks. And I'm being careful not to throw the baby out with the bath water, so to speak. We're trying to make sure that we actually get a snake neck turtle, or we don't get a snake neck turtle when we do this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Not easy, not easy at all. Nope, pine cone. Oh my God. Another pine cone. Would you guys enjoy kind of messing around in the slop and slime? Let me know in the comments below. Is this a job you would enjoy doing? I gotta be honest, I kind of like it. Oh, 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 oh. Check it out, look at the growth. Holy smokes, holy smokes, look at this. This guy is freaking huge. Holy smoke, look at that, that's awesome, man. We got a beautiful snake neck, they're growing. Holy, wait, I got it look, I just lucked out. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this one, look at this one. You can see actually the growth between the scoots, incredible, and their shells feel nice and firm. Holy smokes, that's so cool. All right, we got two so far. Wow, this is exciting. Wait, I got another one. Look at this. Look at this one. They've all put on size. 
Oh, so far, how fun. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is what we call benign neglect. I know they have a good habitat. I do throw food in here, of course, to supplement, but what we've done is created a little ecosystem. We got a little papyrus that'll grow. We've got some of this alocasia. That's good. And these snake necks are a really cool species. Seabin rocks from Indonesia. One of the more common species of snake neck, but not for me. You know, I mean, I love snake necks and um, there are a bunch of different types and all side neck or snake necks and other side necks are all found in the Southern hemisphere. You won't find any of them in the Northern hemisphere here. I got a bug crawling on me. What is it? <laughs> Uh, some kind of bug. All right, let's go over here. Best not to freak out when you have bugs on you. Oh, let's get this cypress root out of here. I know we got more. What do we got? Three so far, I think? Two? Can't remember. Oh my gosh. This is so, oh, this is so much fun. It's, um, it's fun because you don't know what you're gonna find. Hopefully you're gonna find turtles but I wanna see the um, condition these little dudes are in. So far, so good. I've been throwing fluker worms in there. Like that. And it's okay to go ahead and clean some of this out. Oh, I think I found one. I did, I got one. I got one, yeah. Look at this guy, again, much larger than the last time we've seen them. Oh, we're up to four. Wow. Whoa, slippy. Slippy. Helps with your feet, to feel with your feet. If you're brave enough, I know what's in here, so I'm not freaking out too bad. Let's keep this water flowing out. And now that we've, up. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 gotcha. Wow, this is great, guys. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Five, we have two more, I believe. Two more. Here's hoping, guys. And it's gonna be easy to miss one in this kind of situation. But I'm trying. This is fun. There are little grooves on these tanks so that forklifts can pick them up. And they'll create kind of sections. You see, you have this section, a middle section, and a left section. And um, that is actually advantageous for me, because once the water gets low enough, they're not gonna be able to move over these ridges. The other thing is there's plenty of little fish in here and these guys will eat fish. They use those incredible long necks to snare the fish. They hide under all this muck and they go ahead and grab a fish as the fish runs by. Now this water, before I started messing with it, you guys realized was really, really uh, clear. So that's good news. Uh, so they have very good visibility in this pond, or tub rather. And I'm raising them up in here because they're safer, obviously, and I can keep this water warm when we hit into our winter and so on. But what we're doing is we're raising these guys up. I want them to get big quick so that we can get them in our front ponds, which is gonna be really, really awesome. Up, oh, look at this. Look at that, that's the smallest one so far, but even sh that this one's even showing signs of growth. Look at that. Wild, man, yeah, I haven't seen these guys in a while. So this is so cool. Do you have one more? Will we find one more turtle? I don't know. How awesome though, to know that if you set them up properly, add food, and just allow them to do their thing, they do well. We got good temperatures right now. Nice warm temps. Evening cool downs, just, whoa, just like they'd experience in their natural habitat. Okay. Wow, we've really stirred things up, haven't we? It's kind of good to get in here. Oh, we got some fish. There we go. Trying to save the fish. They were flopping around up there. Let's drop this off. Oh, we got a clogo. Let's fix that. There we go. One more little creature. I wonder if he's tucked away in here. Which I just mentioned is totally possible. 
These are from Aquascape. These are little bags that help get your uh, plants started in these pond situations here. I can feel around this and I don't feel anything that feels remotely like a turtle. So that's good. Oh, what's that? No, branch. Yeah, man. Turtle life all day, every day. I'm happy though that we found who we have so far. These videos are fun because I get to do my work and you guys get to kind of hang out with me as I do it. This is what I do. I mean, we are looking and checking up on animals. We have to do this every so often. And by doing this, we're getting work done. And I just document it. Of course, I love to share. All right. Grown man playing in the mud. Life doesn't get any better. Whoa, I keep slipping now. I'm gonna put that in there. Hopefully that'll stay. We'll fill this back up. These guys will put off a little bit of a musk as well. Nobody. That one turtle, one turtle left. And we are having a hard time finding it. Let's go back to here. I'm gonna use my feet. My feet are actually pretty sensitive, friends. Uh oh, uh oh, I don't wanna hurt you, lady. Get that fish back in there. Let's use our feet here. No, I did look a little suspect. I can't remember if there were six or seven. I want to say seven. My feet are just big enough to create like a little net. I got some big dolls, Joe. All right. I'm gonna go for it over here now. Hmm, that's interesting, but that's not a turtle. I don't know, my friends. I've done my best, but it's entirely possible I forgot and there's only six turtles left. Which I'm still pretty happy about. Look at that. They're all getting big though. Maybe it was seven plus this guy. Maybe that's what I did. I forget sometimes. I'm gonna have to write these things down because the best memory is writing things down. Nothing. Nada. At least we got a lot of this muck out. It'll settle again. There's still plenty of little mud and things for them to hide in, which is clearly making them happy, which in turn is making me very happy. I absolutely love it. Get rid of that. Well, anyway, as you guys can see, Things are very busy and we are making a lot of progress here at the camp, but even though we're working on the warehouse a lot lately and doing those things, we still have to stop and check in with our animals. That's why we are here. So very important we do that and we make sure these animals are cared for and la ha ha, what do you say? What do you know? Look at this is the one that had its shell bit um, by some larger turtles when I kept it in with different species. It actually got its shell bit uh, by some of the Japanese Reeves turtles. So there you go. We've got seven, and we're gonna remember this, we're documenting for posterity, seven Seabin Rock snake necks and one Cora Ambienensis doing extremely well in our baby turtle nursery um, that we just set up to let nature take its course. So again, you can kind of see how the larger ones, how there's some algae on these scoots, but look at the new growth between the algae. They're shedding these scoots. Water turtles will shed these scoots. And um, 
That's really impressive. And I can feel their shells are firming up nicely. Look at how long these necks are. Look at the weight. There's no, you know, we're not seeing any um, skull behind their necks. Okay, that's how you tell if a turtle is well fed. You want to make sure there's good muscle tone on their heads. If they don't have that muscle tone on their heads, they aren't eating enough and they're going to wind up getting malnourished. So this is very good. All these guys are eating. Um, and of course, this little lamb boy, and he's doing well too. You don't need much more water than this. You know, we're just setting up like, you know, basically I said it's a nursery. We're going to fill it up a little bit. Uh, the water comes on a timer. We've got a plant. We're going to take this plant. Now we know all the turtles are out. Let's take this papyrus and drop it in here. And uh, basically this will take root like that one did and just continue to grow and grow. So the water's fine. We've got a drain here with a standpipe. And what I do simply is that's the level I want it to stay at. So as the water comes out of here on the timer, it only flows up to a certain amount just to about here you can see the mark and basically that's what we've got going on so let's go ahead and get some of our furniture back in because they like I, I like having the visual barriers the visual barriers give them a sense of security much like we were talking about with the uh, monitor lizards you want that security for them you want them to feel as though they are safe which they are here at the camp. And you know what, I like this big log. I'm gonna put this big log in. We'll get some basking out of them on this. And it's great that I can put this stuff in ugh, without them actually in the pond so I don't accidentally smash it, little guy. But that looks cool. That'll fill up nice. We got this one over here. I think I might leave these out. Um, I like just having the logs. This one's slippy. Let's go ahead and put this one over here. So we've got plenty of places for our guys to hide and or hang out. Put this up here. Very cool. Oh, Inky. There's Inky. You want to see Inky? LJ's got a long way to go. There's Inky. What up, Ink? Inky is getting big, dude. So awesome. Okay. How cool. We're done. We are uh, set. We did our job here today, friends. Um, we cleaned it out. We've checked out all the babies and they are getting quite large and they're doing well. So the only thing left for us to do now, buddies, is to release these little dudes back into their little home. I like to put them on land and then let them walk into the water on their own, taking a breath, doing their thing. Hello, little guys. Here, the turtle stack, turtle stack. Come on, come on, everyone. That's so cool. All right, seven Seaman Rocks and one Cora Ambulances. We are doing awesome. All right, everyone, there's a video for you. Thanks for working with me today. You guys motivate me, get me going, and I love sharing my little small adventures in the backyard with you all. Hey, look, a rabbit. Anyway, um, I'm gonna leave you all now, and uh, I'm gonna continue to do work, because that's all I gotta do. Work, 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 but I love my job. Talk to you later. I sound like Greg the Pond Guy. Later, everybody.